Why did you kill your wife? I did it. But it wasn't the real me. What? Are you mad? You did something I said was not the real you. Officer, as I met my wife in bed with my friend, everything I did then was the real me. You know what? When you finish this, just pack your things and go with him. I don't want to come back and meet you in this house. A big fool. You see why they call you the man? A punky. Le Poc. Your friend comes into your house, crosses your sitting room, penetrates your bedroom, and penetrates your wife on your matrimonial bed, and you did nothing about it. What should I have done, Mom? Don't you have a gun in this house? What for? Don't you have a machete or a knife? Of course I do. Then use the Vosaya! My brother, some people can really be courageous. Can you imagine? Right on our matrimonial bed. Joy! But the man, do you know you are a weakling? How could you allow them just go free like that? What was I supposed to do? If I were the one, no matter how merciful I am, my wife, or that idiot could have left with one ear or an eye subtracted.
A summary of the facts revealed that the accused, popularly known as the man, introduced himself in possession of a knife at the residence of his father-in-law, where the wife of the latter was living after being caught in the act of adultery on the matrimonial bed. Upon the influence of his mother and friends, the man introduced the knife into the body of the victim, his wife, which caused her instant death. The accused is accordingly charged on two counts with invasion of residence and capital murder punishable under sections 299 and 276 of the penal code respectively. Given that the offense is punishable with death and the court finds no mitigation in favor of the accused, this latter is thereby summarily sentenced with death subject to section 278 of the penal code as read with section 74 of the Cameroon Penal Code. This is the judgment 